Welcome back to Minecraft. Um, I've got two people with me. I have troll number one, Malinka. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And troll number two, Demon. It was winding me up just before the episode. Hello. Basically <laughs> bending over in front of me as if I was doing some dirty act at the beginning of the video. So anyway. He was, the entire time. Uh, so besides the rapage of Malinka and Demon, um, this episode is going to contain some IC2, so um, I think we should get started. I think uh, Demon's going to be making us some batteries, Malinka's going to make us some generators, and um, I will guess I'll start with the extractor maybe? Um, so that requires four tree taps, that's easy enough, I can do those quick. So, one, two, oh, no energy. We should have tested these, what did you do? these request things back here, Malinka. Oh, that could be my mistake. Check it again. Because I've been using them already. Oh, okay. Uh, apparently I'm missing oak planks, which doesn't make sense. Oh, damn it. Had a pipe in my hand, my bad. Oh, uh, well, that's still... Okay, lesson learned. If if you have a Tesseract and there's a basic logistic pipe against it to connect it up to the network, don't place a second basic logistic pipe against it. It won't like that. <laughs> I connected up a logistic pipe uh, down here and immediately the whole system went down. Uh, well, um, nice lesson to learn. I'm still having a problem. I can't seem to request oak wood planks. Screw it. I have no idea why that's not working. Maybe it's... Yeah, that's a weird... Maybe when I shift-clicked the recipe, it gave me a weird version of oak wood planks. Whatever. Um, Probably. So let me just do that. Right, that's fine. Uh, we needed four tree taps. And uh, next... We need electronic circuits. Now I don't know how much of any of this stuff that we have in here. Let's find out what we're missing. Copper cables. Uh, has any of you made any copper cables yet? Nope. I'm still working on the pipe work. Okay. Then I'm going to Don't grab... the pipes won't arrive. Uh, I'm going to grab the cutter. Sorry. Stolen. And uh, some copper. So one of the first right back. I'm going to check the gold pipe recipe. Something is going on there. Okay. So. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I might have to do the cutting of uh, the copper. Oh no, I have to flatten it into plates, don't I? I forgot about that. Yeah, you have to flatten first, then cut the plates. Luckily, there's still the forge hammer from a few episodes back still in here. You might want to make a few more forge hammers and stuff, just so that we can all craft. Uh, yeah, so as before, we do need to um, hammer out um, to make plates, like so. And I'll do a few. Um, we'll start off with five. And then take the cutter here. And now where do I place it to cut? Oh, I'm doing it again. I'm being a derp. It's the plates. And that gives me the cables. And then finally I want some rubber. I should uh, probably show our rubber farm, shouldn't I, really? Yeah, probably. Let me go do that quick. Uh, it's night time, so I'll leap over the wall. Look at all the mages that come out and about now, look, see? Loads and loads of light mages. Okay, so what we've uh, done over here is we've uh, 
or demon did actually. Um, let me jump over here. This is a um, rubber tree farm. That's all this is rubber wood, as you can see. And below here is a farm from forestry. And we've put in a, an intricate circuit board. They're not that hard to make. Um, and in the uh, using a soldering iron, you can right click on the circuit board and change it to a manual farm. Add um, rubberized electron tubes. And we've added four of them. And then that turns it into a, um, a manual version of the uh, of a rubber farm does still need fertilizer and water so bear that in mind and if I jump up here so we can see all of these trees had to be manually planted like they don't automatically plant the trees we manually planted them I chopped the leaves off as well so we could get like lots in there and then it'll just farm the rubber for you so that's fairly useful Um, I think underneath you've also got like supplier pipes underneath uh, so that it's automatically supplying the um, resin. Yeah, we just hooked it up to our other setup. Okay, right, so now I've got some copper cables. Um, what else was part of the extractor recipe here? Uh, basic machine casing is iron plates. Let's see if I've got any iron plates made from before. Uh, one. Uh, great, I'll make some more. Thankfully, as soon as um, we've got a few of these machines made, then we won't have to worry about using the cutter and the hammer anymore. So that's one of my goals today is to get that done. Um, so we'll... Make, do you know what? I'm actually going to need quite a few more. So if I call out for 40 iron, we've also got some uh, iron blocks. It's not that bad. Our uh, iron. I mean, it's not the best amount of iron I've ever had, but um, it's okay. Okay, and I'm making a whole bunch of these. And actually, the four chambers now destroyed, but that's fine. Um, put a circle of these and you get basic machine casings and I'm at least going to make two um, I'll make three and I'll make three machines that should be fine I should probably make another four chamber as well actually now I'm thinking about it anyone making copper cables by any chance uh, I've um, I'm not I've got a few but um, I'm probably going to need at least six of them, like right now. Okay, I'll make my own then. So I request some redstone as well. I can make our electronic circuit. Yeah, fire there. Some batteries to get you started. Thank you. Although I think Malinka needs them. No, I need circuits. Oh, okay. Is he not playing with me? Oh, that's because I'd already messed up my hammer. Okay. There it is. Stealing your cutter for a bit, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, that's fine. To who? Yeah, to me, it's fine. It's a bit slow making um, IC2 machines. It's just why it's going to feel like a disjointed episode. And it's hard to you know, talk about making one of these and, and all this stuff, because actually it just takes quite a long time. Uh, to me, it's a little bit frustrating at times, but there isn't really a lot. Unfortunately, when you get started, it's actually uh, really slow, but then after you get the first few machines, it's actually really fast. Yeah, yeah once you've got that far, it's not too bad. Okay, I'm almost there with this first machine. There we go. So I've got an extractor made, 
and if you look here it um, uses two EU which is um, the power for IC2 per tick um, as a minimum power draw I believe and 32 EU per tick maximum which means if I send any more than 32 EU per tick to this machine it will blow up although they may have removed the blowing up of machines at the moment during the experimental phase from what I vaguely remember um, so what I'll do here is um, I'll just chop a hole in the floor here which will lead down to our basement and I'm just going to place the extractor here now Link is building our power at the moment so what I'm actually just going to do I'm going to grab this redstone and grab some um, rubber wood that I know we have so if I just grab I don't know 10 will be fine this is extremely wasteful in general so I don't recommend doing what I'm about to do but um, until we've got the power up it's, it's, it's okay for demonstration purposes because I've got a fair amount of redstone so that I don't mind wasting some although my rubber wood didn't arrive oh here it is And just in case it needs a bit more redstone. There's some extra circuits for you, like that. Oh, thank you. I was wondering where those came from. Okay, something weird is going on in our logistics systems, though. I've requested golden pipes quite a while back, and they haven't arrived. Last time I checked, they were still s uh, the materials were stuck in the in the crafting table. Anyone okay. have any idea why that is happening? I don't know, but considering I'm recording right now, you can probably that can probably wait. Right, so. I've got the rubber wood going and uh, that turns into rubber from there and I'm using redstone to power the machine. Um, right, Melinka, what's up? Why are you requesting golden pipes? Oh, you know, supplying the uh, generators with, well, fuel. Oh, um, just manually do it. Just request the fuel by hand and just like, worry about Hold that off off camera for now. Just get the machine up and running. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, so I've got the extractor going. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, we had a bit of derpiness set up. Um, so one of the things that I needed to fix the derpiness is a wrench. And here's a recipe for a wrench, just a few bronze ingots. Um, Malinka, in your inventory, yes. is a wrench. Ooh, wrenchy. Um, that's because in this, the crescent hammer does no, uh, doesn't work on IC2 Experimental. I know it used to work in IC2 previously, but this version, no. Um, how close are you to uh, the generator? What you're missing a electrical? Just circuit? waiting on the batteries that Demon is making. I'm waiting on the rubber, and I'll be done here in a short. Little. Um, there's rubber in the extractor. Well, it's right. two. <laughs> it's not a lot. There you go. Have two rubber. There should be a bunch of rubber that we'd already made. Yeah, I've got like fifty-four. Yeah, we've used rubber most of that. Here. But here, have some more rubber. Oh, you had all the rubber. Aha. Yeah. Just now. No, he was talking to me. <laughs> I had it, and then I just passed more to you. Um, cool. So, yeah, that's how you make batteries. You did show that before. And hopefully those batteries are going to come into this table. And there we go. There we've got one, two, three generators. Um, you already placed the copper yeah, cable in. battery? Sure. I'm still missing one battery. I got uh, two. Let's just be here shortly. Going down with two uh, generators so far, then. Okay. Um, so uh, we place some copper cables here. And uh, have you got some? You're using peat, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Um, Smelly, we haven't shown your powerful. peat farm. Is that ready to show yet? Oh yeah, it's good to go. Uh, okay, well, follow. I'll follow you. Where is it? Peat farm. 
Follow me, good sir. Well, seeing that Pete is smelly and all that, I thought let's place that underground. Oh, does that mean that's so we'll where we can place yeah. demon? Uh, Only for you. Possibility. <laughs> but basically, we go to our service tunnel. And to our left, we have a peat bog. Okay, so yeah, another uh, managed farm. This looks like it's. Nope, uh, this is a basic managed farm, it is. But we did need to use a circuit to uh, set it to peat. Do you remember what and circuit? For some reason, you used? it's not extracting. Do you know what circuit you used? Um. What let me tube? Thing, what was it again? I honestly can't remember. I think it was tin. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Yeah, tin, uh, tin electrons. Okay, so yeah, four Four. tin electrons that gives you a managed peat bog farm, which um, for some reason isn't extracting. Is that what you're saying? No, someone removed the uh, lever, but didn't put in the what's it called again? Pneumatic servo. Pneumatic servo. Oh, okay. I'm looking at you, demon. Yeah, I've possibly. Okay, cool. Oh, it may be in. I just might have not switched it. Um, yeah, see. wrench. Try and wrench it. I mean, where's my wrench? Dance vacuum. Do I need to set the vacuum? No, you. You're that. Oh, that is a night and pipe. There you go. Yep. It's All you have vacuum. to do is turn okay, the redstone control off. off. Oh well. Ah, uh, okay. That Probably. one I didn't know. I oh, had the pneumatic server on it, but I forgot to do it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, to get a peat bog going, you need to insert bog earth. And for that, uh, well, you take a water bucket in the middle, surrounded by some dirt and uh, sand, and you will get bog earth. We've got that set up in our palace in the basic crafting system. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So with the basic supply mode here, it'll keep on going together with the fertilizer. Uh, you're using something a bit different though to make the water buckets, aren't you? Yeah, that's true. Um, because we fill buckets with the thermal expansion machines, uh, you'll get that the bucket will be automatically injected. Uh, where you're going fire, that system is uh, in a thermal expansion room. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's, it's a thermal expansion machine. <laughs> okay. Well, I saw that there was some water underneath the palace at some point. Though. Yeah, that's the basic water supply that we can use on the Logi system. Yeah, that's what I was thinking that we were going to show. Is that? Oh no, I was thinking of this first because it's uh, also interesting. What I've done is we've got a fluid transposer that will take a bucket as a supply, try to fill that bucket. As you can see, there's still one in here, and then put it into this chest. Why do we use this chest? That's actually quite simple. If we don't, it'll use uh, it'll immediately put the bucket back into the system and use up all your empty buckets into full buckets. By having a chest as an intermediary and having the supplier pipe, uh, sorry, provider pipe on that chest, it won't get uh, used until I need it. Okay, so um, here's something called a logistics fluid supply. You'll notice that we don't actually have infinite water in the fluid transposer. That's because we're trying and playing around with some ideas. We could have put infinite water in here. But what we've done instead is put a logistics fluid supplier and in here we've told it to keep um, 1000 millibuckets, as in one bucket, as the equivalent of, to always be kept in the fluid transposer. And the place where it's being supplied, I assume it's infinite power source, uh, or infinite water source. There's something else we need to show as well, Fire. What's that? Well, I'm trying to show the infinite water uh, In source. the palace, we'll need to show something I did with the crafting of the bog earth. That's actually quite interesting and vital to know if you want to use this system. Okay. Uh, well, I'm just showing there's an aqueous accumulator generating infinite water going into a, a build craft water tank. And then we've got a fluid provider pipe here. So, basically, because there's a fluid provider pipe, 
rather like if it, if a item is being requested in this case if a liquid anywhere in the system is being requested in this case water then it will be sent to the machine so um yeah it basically the water will intelligently find its way over from here over to the um thermal expansion room with a little bit of intelligence yep all right let me jump over to and last but not least the bogger itself because Demon, you the have to, uh, recipe uses a so, hmm? Demon, uh, uses a water bucket. Okay, yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, I was explaining something. Because the uh, uh, recipe uses a water bucket, if you can open it in, into the crafting table fire, uh, which you'll crafting see table? that it, it'll keep uh, the one for the bogger, middle row downstairs. Yep. You'll see that it'll keep the empty buckets that it used to craft. If you want to provide that, those empty buckets back into the system, you'll have to put a provider pipe on that crafting table with empty buckets as the providing item. If not, they'll be lost and it'll just eat up all your iron until you've made, well, everything filled up with buckets. Okay, well that's interesting to know. So yeah, so basically when it needs a bucket, it will provide it from, from this inventory. Yep, that's what I've done. Okay. Took a while to find the problem. Uh, for some reason, it stopped making bog earth, and I never had a clue what it was till I checked that inventory. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's how we're making bog earth, which is uh, now actually powering the extractor. Um, you, you actually went ahead and made electric furnace, so I can add that to the line. As a basic one, we probably will remove the basic one fairly quickly, um, but that will do for now. So now we can just cook up materials if we need to. Um, then I guess we should split up some other ones. If I make the metal former and uh, someone make a macerator, macerator, yes. Yeah. Sir. Oh, you've actually gone ahead and put the recipe of the metal form in, unless that was me. I don't think it was, though. That was me. Okay, well, the uh, metal former is actually quite complicated, so it comes up with a bunch of pieces. Uh, first of all, we're going to have to make another... Um, Demon, do you want to make me an electric circuit, please? That would be great. Sure, I can do that. Um, uh, make two... Oh, wait, we've, I've got one uh, right here, Fire. Give me okay. a second. Um, so uh, here, here we... Okay, so here we this recipe requires a chest and bronze item casing. Um, let me show the. Let's get some bronze in here. Bronze. So I'm just going to request uh, twenty of them, even if it's some extra. I guess I don't mind too much. Uh, we also need two chests, which is on the our auto crafting system, so that's fine. You have your circuits, by the way. Okay, thank you. Um, There's your so macerator. I'm going to take this uh, bronze, and I think I need uh, 16. And if I take that bronze plate and hit it again, oh, actually, I needed 8, but never mind. Um, if I make sure I've got 16 bronze item cases and then from the recipe here it's just the chest surrounded by the bronze item casing was it on all sides? oh I remember now I did mess it up I think it's uh, this there we go it gives us a toolbox so I actually made too much again I'm being a dumb <laughs> a dummy dummy um, Right, so that's our toolboxes. Then we need to make coils, which is just copper cable uninsulated around some iron. Um, okay, so let's get a whole bunch of copper. Uh, actually, I've got some copper in my inventory here. So, uh, as in, who's got the wire cutters? Uh, they should be in I've my crafting uh, station. I've got it, I've got it. I got it. Oh, now I've got two sets. Uh, 
And as per usual, I'm forgetting that I have to hammer it out. Thankfully, once I've got this machine made and put on the, the line below, I, I won't have to worry about making the mistake of the uh, copper cable uh, thing again. So um, it's okay. Using our cutter here, I can make some copper weight, uh, cable and then a bit of iron. I think I need like three. Oh, I'll make ten, it's fine. Um, so once this iron arrives, it's uh, pretty much surrounding the iron in iron ingots and one, two, three coils. I didn't even make enough. Um, has anyone got a few more? Oh, I'll do it. You know, it's so, don't worry. I'm just getting a bit frustrated because these machines are a royal pain in the butt <laughs> to make. Um, yeah, they are. They are extremely expensive to make. It's not just that, it's just expensive that there's so many s steps and stuff, and I think I keep missing out steps. Um, I mean, I, I kind of know what to do, but it's just. I do like the new the designs boys. on them, though. The new yeah, they do look nice. It's not that I even mind that much that the recipes have got this complicated, except for the fact it's frustrating when you're trying to record and do make these machines. But um, <laughs> if it wasn't for the fact of recording, I was just doing it on my own. I wouldn't mind so much because let's face it, you do this once to make your metal formula, which is what I should have enough recipes here to do now. If you check here, this has got power minimum ten. Maximum 32, and I can place that down. Uh, macerator is made, which is good, and it looks like we've got power coming oh, into fire. the metal former. Yeah. Did we explain about the different difference in the power cables for uh, IC2 uh, before people start blowing up everything? Uh, okay. Uh, I'd, so. <clears throat> One of the differences uh, of the experimental phase of this, because they're figuring people are still learning, is that right now the machines don't explode um, at all. However, if you do chuck too much power into these, the all the cables will disintegrate. So you, there's still a loss, but you'll just lose cables at the moment. When it comes out of experimental, I believe they're going to make the machines explode again. Um, uh, what happens, uh, uh, what used to be, if you've got, for example, these generators which show 10 EUs a tick, that would mean through these cables would go packages of at most 10 EU a tick. Well, these are copper cables, they could handle 32 EU in the old system. Yeah, everything's fine. Current system, it's a bit different. We've got three generators here for a total of 30 EU, meaning that every packet going through the cable is 30 EU. Now, copper cables got an upgrade, so they can handle 128. So, if I built 13 generators, which would be 130 EU a tick, yeah, that would melt the cables, or the machines, or both. Not sure which. Yeah, I mean, these uh, machines at the moment are set to 32, so the fact that we've got 30 here is actually a good sign. Although, as it goes, it's a bit more complicated than that, because as it goes through the machine, so as it hits, say, the first machine... Oh, you're switching it around on me. Um, then the first machine here is, say, taking 10 EU, for example, off the power, which means that um, by the time it hits the next machine on the line, there's only 20 EU in the cable. And then this takes out um, two, so the next cable here has got 18 EU and so forth. So, like, it does kind of work that way. Um, however, you tend not to build your system that way you would um, add transformers in the line and that kind of thing um, so uh, Linker did actually go ahead and make these uh, supplier pipes um, with Pete so now Pete's automatically being pumped in um, Ah, so that's using power you've got the metal former working uh, yeah I do yep. um, so let me show how the metal former works um, <laughs> I'll replace that block later. <laughs> um, 
All right, I'm gonna. <laughs> Before you. Really... Yeah, no, I'm gonna stop what you're doing there with the copper cables because I haven't actually shown it. So Go um, it. here we've got extruding mode, so we can now instead of you know using the cutters and stuff that we were doing before, if we want to make wires, instead of having to flatten them out and then cut the um, plates, now we can actually just go miss that step and go straight into wire making, like so. Um, if we wanted to go into just hammer making, uh, just hammering it, and make a, a copper plate, we just put it into rolling mode, and once that's done, it should roll out a basic plate, like so. Uh, if we wanted it just to be in cutting mode, if I put this in here, it won't actually work anymore. However, if I place the plate in there, as you, we already know, that will turn that into wire. So if you want to automate this, we'll actually need three metal formers, each in a different mode. Uh, yeah, if we're going to eventually get to to doing that. So yeah, it's just basically three modes. Cutting, flattening, and extruding. And sometimes you'll need to flatten twice. So let take, for instance, this rolling mode here. It's just a little slow, but... Um, the copper will turn into a copper plate, which is about to happen. And if you flatten it once again, it should turn into casing. And uh, that, that yeah, the works. overclocker upgrade hasn't changed. Yeah, we'll want to overclock the machines at some point, um, probably not straight away, but not yet. Um, so yeah, macerator works. It always did. If I wanted to turn copper in, go into copper dust, I put that in there. Um, if I want to cook dust or cobble. Or whatever it is I want to cook, I place that in here. So, you know, nothing particularly has changed with that. Um, I think maybe next episode we'll go into uh, some of the more advanced machines. Um, perhaps look at all washing. Like and power storage? And that kind of stuff, some power storage. Yeah, we'll see how far we can get because IC2 is very extensive and very slow to work with. So, you know, we'll do a little bit at a time. Um, I kind of got bounced around quite a bit this episode because we had some other systems that I'd forgotten that we hadn't shown. Um, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, hopefully we'll be a bit more focused next episode. So join us then from <laughs> me, Malinka, and Demon. Bye-bye. Goodbye.